This is an explanation for how a 555 timer functions as an oscillator. If you are looking for an explanation on the setup, then I recommend you watch my 555 timer oscillator tutorial. Using a 555 timer as an oscillator is referred to as a stable mode, which simply means that it is constantly changing between high and low. The frequency of a 555 timer in a stable mode is determined by the time it takes to charge a capacitor to a certain voltage, and then how long it takes that capacitor to discharge to a certain voltage. Capacitor C1 is charged from the power source through resistors R1 and R2. The charge voltage is monitored by the threshold and the discharge voltage is monitored by the trigger. During the time that the capacitor is charging, the output is high. When the threshold detects that the voltage of the capacitor has charged to two-thirds of the input voltage, the discharge opens to ground so that the capacitor can begin discharging and the output goes low. When the trigger detects that the voltage of the capacitor has dropped to one-third of the input voltage, then the discharge is closed, thus allowing the capacitor to begin charging again and the output returns to high. This charging and discharging repeats over and over.